Hey Virgo, Alice here and welcome to your reading. So we're going to just check in on the energies coming towards you and just see what's going on there. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, could be Crosswatcher or uh, really if you just felt drawn to this because these aren't horoscopes. You don't have to have Virgo in your chart. Um, if something caught your eye if you just wanted to watch for whatever reason um there could be a message here for you because there aren't really any um accidents not really or coincidences um if you would like to know more about me and my readings uh you can check out the description box below um all the information is there i just want to remind you that these are general readings so not everything may apply to your situation just take what resonates leave what doesn't don't try to force it um these are also a timeless readings most of the readings are timeless on my channel doesn't matter when you find them um the dates really are just when i put the readings up really um your timeline is different than my timeline all right all right so let's see um What's coming towards you? Oh. Mm. You may already feel this Five of Cups or you it's coming towards you. This is some regret. There is a focus on the spilt cups here. There's a focus on something that didn't work out. Um, there's some sort of disappointment here and you may start to focus on this if you haven't already. Why is this here? Yes, it has to do with a connection that you have with somebody, um, a very deep soul connection. It's one of those connections that you really can't explain to people. Um, it's like, like try to explain to somebody like why does peanut butter and chocolate work? Don't tell me it doesn't. It fucking does. But like, like you know, trying to explain like, why does it work? How does it work? It's like, I don't know. It just does. That's this connection. You have a connection with somebody that you can't really explain why you feel the way that you feel towards them. They can't explain it either. Why they feel the way they feel towards you. Um, it's just, there's some sort of, you can call it kismet or meant to be type of energy here. Um, whatever this is, there are some regrets. You, your, your energy is focused on something about this connection. Yeah, the three of wands. Um, there's a hesitancy here. I don't know if that's your energy or, mm, let me see why. Yeah, I got that. I saw the six of cups. Somebody may have ran away from this connection. Sevens, sevens, seven, sevens. Um, seven of swords, seven of wands. I feel like there's there was somebody here who ran away here to protect themselves. Like they felt like it could be somebody who thought that they were going to have to defend themselves against an energy or against somebody here and so rather than deal with it they just ran away from it they just decided you know i'm just not going to deal with it like this is how like it's like somebody who put a wall up and this is how they dealt with it hanged man and the four of cups whoever this is um i feel like this is somebody who didn't want anything to change maybe they felt like things were changing and it's like you know what i don't want anything to change here i refuse for things to change so i'm just going to leave <laughs> Okay, um, sure. Why is that? Why? Digging into the background of this a little bit. Why? Okay. 
okay? Whoever this is, they never spoke about their feelings. I say never because this is a very silent energy. This is somebody who does not talk about their feelings, especially growing feelings. Grow feelings, there were there are deep feelings in this connection and there were growing feelings and somebody was quiet about them. They were silent about it. I'm kind of getting somebody like, because these are, these are new feelings. Like somebody was feeling new feelings and they're like, I don't want anything to change here. Maybe they thought it would change the connection. And so they just took it upon themselves to to be like, you know what, I, I don't want anything to change, so I'm just going to leave. Mm. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of feelings here. A lot of again, we're, I'm I'm getting this. I feel for you the that you might be the one that didn't say something because I'm getting an energy here of like I regret that I didn't speak my truth about how I really feel about this about this connection here. That Queen of Cups, she has a a cup of love that she wants to give. Um. It could be about somebody who did give that that cup and maybe your energy because I'm getting like a little bit of beating yourself up here about not speaking your truth um, about how like not saying how you you really thought about this so either this is your energy giving giving feelings love to this or this is somebody else who they gave their all when I say they're all, they gave their heart, their emotions, um, to this connection, um, here, but I'm getting like, you're, you have an energy that you're beating yourself up over not saying how you really thought about it. Hmm. I feel like this is something that you've been thinking about. A lot the eight of swords the nine of swords like I don't think you've ever stopped thinking about this it's like since it happened because I'm getting an energy here that this is just something like that keeps you up at night um, there's a lot of overthinking about it and there's a lot of like I don't even really want to look at this but it's so hard not to look at it like keeps you trapped in some way like trapped in your mind like yeah that's like an energy of like I can't stop thinking about this yeah I'm getting that it's like I feel like there could have been more here Page of Cups is very intuitive energy here. Um, the Nine of Cups, this is a wish fulfillment. It's like, perhaps you or somebody's thinking about this a lot um, because they really felt like this was wish fulfillment. Like this is, this was what would make them so happy. I mean, that's why it's so hard to stop thinking about it. It's like, it was like everything I wanted. Whoever this is, that's what they're thinking. Hmm. Two of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Lots of page energy. Um. I'm getting that they were uncertain though. They were uncertain if they if this was reliable though. Um, it's like 
it seemed like you know a wish come true type of energy this energy whoever you know this the the, the feelings the love it's like this seemed like a wish come true um but it's like there there's a certain amount of like i don't know if this was going to last that page of wands is very in and out energy you know there's a lot of going back and forth of uncertainty of whether this was something that really was um wish fulfillment although it feels that way and that's why whoever this is is thinking about this a lot because it's like thinking about you know was it really wish fulfillment was this everything that i wanted it feels like it that page of cups energy it's like it felt like it it felt like it was everything that i dreamed of and it's just so hard to get past it in whoever this is their mind okay let's see what else We have teacher in reverse. Somebody isn't making much sense. This is somebody who... I, I feel like it's whoever this... Eight of Swords is whoever's thinking about this a lot. It's like thinking about something so much that it's just not even making sense anymore. Um, like this is just somebody who's being really illogical. Why? Why is teacher here? Yeah, I told. Yeah, it's somebody who's just thinking. It's the person who's thinking so much. Whoever this energy, it's like, it's like thinking in circles. It's like there's only so much you can do f by thinking. At some point, you gotta do something. You know, <laughs> you, if you keep thinking in circles, that's that's the problem with the Eight of Swords. You can overthink things to death, and it becomes so detrimental because you get trapped in your head, and it's like that's all you can think about. And that's what this is. This, there's an energy here. There's somebody here who they just can't let something go. It's like you can only think about it so much. You know, you have to do something at some point about it to, like, you know, to calm your your mind. Why is thinking here? Hmm. Whoever this is that's thinking about this, it's like, it doesn't make sense because they're thinking about it so much, but at the same time, this is somebody, this is the same person who, with that seven of swords, this is the same person that ran away because they are, it's like, they want to know that they did the right thing. They want some sort of sense of justice. I did the right thing. It's like they want some sort of validation even. Um, but if you're thinking about it this much, it's like, sometimes you got to start to use your intuition <laughs> and you start, you got to start to feel like, how do, how do you actually feel? You know, you can think, you can think till the cows come home, but how does the situation make you feel? Because that's when you know, do you feel like you did the right thing or do you feel like you maybe you didn't or I'm, when i say you i'm saying the general you right um because it's the main energy here is still here the five of cups that energy is coming towards you or you're in it right now it's that energy of feeling it's cups it's like i feel like shit. it's like i feel disappointed i feel sad i feel um like i feel bummed out I feel like I did something. Like it, it is a very woe is me type of energy. Why is officer here? Service in reverse. 
Um, this is a service. Uh, this is an energy of somebody who thinks that they're doing something selflessly, selflessly, but actually they were doing it for themselves. So yes, this is like I need validation for if I did if I did the right thing because it's like I kind of know that I you know I kind of helped myself here. I did something. I you know you can you can dress it up all you want to say that you were trying to help somebody else because that's what this is this is somebody who is like no i was doing it for you i was doing it to protect you i was doing it because this is what i thought you wanted but it's like when we dig down we dig, we dig down four cards in it's like is it was it or was it because this is something whoever this is if it was something more for them it wasn't a selfless act. It wasn't as selfless as they were making it out to be. That's why this energy is searching for validation because it wasn't as selfless as they try to convince themselves. Um, no. That's why it's not make, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense because they know. Whoever this energy is, they know. <laughs> They know, like, they can try to convince themselves that, you know, they they were doing it for completely selfless reasons, but I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Here, give me one more. One more card. That is more than one. That is, like, five. I only want one. Although, yeah, okay. I'm okay. We're, it's like, this is it. That's it. <laughs> It's like no more. You don't get any more. Um, I get a bit of that, but also, um, uh, something changed. Um, death is, especially in this deck, this is something, um, somebody, they left something behind or they ended something. What? Okay, I know I said one more, but I kind of want to know why. Why is death here? Because I'm curious. Why is death here? Eh, okay. You have conversation, boss, bedroom. Oh, what? Oh. This is a private conversation. These cards all together. This is a private conversation with somebody who they, who, who this energy deems as authority over them. Um, like it says boss, like it can be a boss, but I don't think in this energy it is. It's somebody who controls something, controls something in this energy's life. Um, you know, I'll be honest, this looks like somebody was told to end something. It's like, either you end it or I will type of energy. Not quite like so dramatic, but it's, it feels like there was a conversation. It was a very private conversation. Bedroom is like, um, well, it is, it's privacy. You know, what you do in your bedroom is, you know, what you do this is something it could even be bedroom talk it could even be something that was said you know after doing things in the bedroom bedroom activities um it could even be that but somebody somebody was pulling the strings here there was a conversation and it's like this conversation is what led to this ending and this ending is whoever this energy is, they try to convince themselves that they were doing it to protect somebody else. But I think it's more, they didn't want to get on whoever this is, their bad side, which is, it is kind of selfish. Mm, okay, that's interesting. That seems very specific though. Okay, let's see, where's this energy heading then? 
Where is this energy heading? What is the potential outcome for the near future? Oh, the truth is coming out. Either the truth is coming out or there's some sort of understanding here. Where is this coming from? Uh, it's coming out of conflict. There's this seems like some drama. Ooh, ooh. ooh somebody makes somebody is making a decision here. So it is it, it is rely it, it it does rely on somebody's free will. Um, somebody might choose to do something that stirs up some drama, and the the and they they come clean or they make something very clear. Where's this choice coming from? Ugh. Okay. There's a lot here. Uh, we have tower. We have the chair. Ooh, these are all three major arcana. Holy shit! It does depend on what somebody does here, but. The energy behind this person's decision to stir some shit up, there is something that happens unexpectedly in their life that puts them on a different path here. It's a different path than what they thought that they were on. Um, Hierophant here. Ooh. I'm getting that somebody's rebelling against some sort of rule or some sorts or some it could be against something that has been going on for a long time um it can be a commitment um of some sort uh i just this feels like a broken promise here this feels like somebody breaks a promise here because they want to get on a, a better path the chariot is always at least in this energy it's somebody who is is determined to have victory determined to have success here and so this just looks like somebody just breaks a promise or a promise gets broken. I say break a promise because the chariot usually is driven by a certain energy. So there's an energy here that's driving all of this energy. So I feel like they're the ones that is causing this tower. They're breaking an, a promise, a long withstanding promise here or some sort of commitment here. They're breaking that and that's leading to some sort of decision. I don't think that's the decision here. I feel like that's happening and then that that this is the source of why somebody decides to do what they do what they decide to do is they cause a lot of drama um here and that you know the truth comes out because of that or there's just a better understanding there's clarity from that here so i don't know who who is who here um but it really depends if this person does chooses um to cause conflict if they choose to cause conflict they might not because it's it is up to them but um it really depends if this is what they do okay all right um that's what i have for you virgo um thanks for watching that was interesting uh you can always check out any of the other signs if you feel drawn to them there could be messages in those readings or any readings that are up here if you found this reading uh, insightful, useful, or uh, entertaining in any way. I do appreciate it. If you could like, share, or subscribe, helps me do more with the channel. But I'm gonna leave um, this here for you. So thanks again for watching. I hope that you have a good day or good night wherever you are and take care and good luck. Good luck with this. And I will talk to you later.